Rated M for Mature. Running in circles, even in nightmares. <laughs> Welcome back from World Let's Play, Catherine. All right, we're we are just about to face the boss. We're first gonna finish talking to everyone. It's that sheep again. I gotta play dead. I'm not a sheep. All the sheep here are really human. Really? What? Really? I, I just pushed two sheep a little while ago. Wow, at least you don't sound proud of that fact. I'm gonna give you points for that. I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you'll hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. Even this place will fall eventually. That is true, unfortunately. And there's three sheep that are behind... Oh, it's in this, um... Setting up candles. Now we can't even hope to talk to you, so. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of this. What should I do? Please help me. You just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me anything. Maybe this will help. Allow me to explain the tornado. If blocks are stacked all over the place, calm down and pull them out one by one. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then make a staircase and climb. Whoa! Is that how you climb? Wow! You're amazing! Oh, I think I can go on a little longer! See? I was talking about last episode raising morale of everyone. There you go. Who's in there? Sounds like a kid, but it can't be. How the hell does he sound like a kid? Really, Vincent? Uh. Uh, hey. I told you, sit down first. Fine, whatever. See, Vincent? How does it sound like oh, a kid? Man. You're here, Lost Lane. I don't get it. He'll be answering another of my questions. Alright, I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. This that is the can. second question. Where do you feel the most calm? In a dark, quiet room? Or a bright and noisy room? Yeti! <laughs> hmm. So that's your answer. I see. I'll answer your question this time, little lost lamb. This entire place is an immense sanctuary. There are eight floors. This is the second night, and only the second floor. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? If I can get to the end, I don't have to die? Don't get your hopes up. You'll never be able to reach the pinnacle. Anyway, listen. I hear the sounds of your night terrors approaching. <laughs> Are you ready? I like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? Wow, what an overwhelming majority. You won't escape. Huh?
The fists of Grouch have appeared. Fists of Grouch! Do not this die. thing! Really not that bad to do it. Hermit. Which skill use right here? So, Warp of the Tower. Adding the bell is a godsend. The bell, what that does is turn all blocks into normal blocks, making them a lot easier to push around. It's even a boss. It's even effects and mobile blocks. This is kind of why. Uh, another reason why finding the white cube is just not all that useful. And wow, that pack loose is so inconsequential, kind of time funny. <laughs> all right, going to pick up the bells. Keep it in the hand. Almost there. Edge. Right. I guess you're gonna work the power again. Right, I got it. Yeah. I'm using Okay, turn those blocks to fetch normal. And good track the head, actually. Nothing to it. Just push that. Pull that out. Pull that out. And we are done! Is it gone? I'm saved, right? Yeah! Congratulations are in order. Your escape from the prison of despair was perfection indeed. Such great music indeed. I can't name a single song in this game that I don't like. It's had to be quite their first thing in the universe. <laughs> a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's supposed to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Goodness, huh? we think alike. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's just weird. One moment on the opposite side of Vincent, and the next second right there without getting up. How would that work? Tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, oh. 
I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you see. <laughs> I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. You taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. Ha! <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> that was creepy. Yeti! Holy shit. Oh man, this is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Hmm. Huh? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. Ha <laughs> Uh, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. Ball. I came here because I like you. Huh? Oh. Oh. So, how do you feel about me? Huh? Oh. Wow, um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd? Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess... Sorry. I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah, dentists get angry if you're late, too. Well, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone already. Oh, this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Ah, oh, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have. I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Uh, if you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> Well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pic. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. <sighs> I am so fucked. Orlando, you don't even have a type. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream?
Hey, uh, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. Anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. Huh, I never saw the girl. Oh, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Eh, if this girl was cute, you'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you jerks, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies' man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah. I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. Slow like down that there. creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up. I'm not like that. What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica. I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them. Or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. What are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. My eye! Huh? What? You're cheating! Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Let's just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> Right. Yo, Erica, another round over here. Uh, coming right up. You're in trouble, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha. Shut up. I'm done fooling around. Quite a bit to unpack there. First of all, the woman's wrath? Yeah, nothing more of a conspiracy theory. I'll get more into th it becomes more relevant, but. This game does have some mythological bits to it. You press the B button to get up from your seat and walk around the bar. If you press start to open the menu, you can see hints on how to spend your time at the bar. You can change the difficulty of the nightmare stages from the config screen. Uh, I guess not just that, but um, the bartender. I like how his name is seriously Boss. <laughs> Also, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, drink. When you drink, you can raise your intoxication level up to three times. Misleading text is misleading. You can only raise Vincent's intoxication level two times. Vincent is already at level one just for being at the bar. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Let's go ahead and finish this cocktail and not uh, be up to this episode. Shit! I've never cheated in my life before. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. 
The name rum and cola is actually a nickname. Do you know the real name of this drink? It's called the Cuba Libre. The rum called for in this drink represents Cuba. This is a cocktail which mixed the national specialties of Cuba and the United States as a celebration of Cuba's independence. Cuba Libre means free Cuba. It tastes differently when you know the history. None of this is true. But it's definitely interesting to think about. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Tea already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. Take your order? Yeah. We have an option. We have the option to uh, order the Japanese sake, the whiskey, or beer. Freeze! Yeah, I actually need to say this before I get any comments about it. It is, in fact, pronounced sake, not sake. You can argue that. Oh, it ends with an E, so it should be pronounced sake. You can say the same thing about anime. It also ends with an E. Do you pronounce it anime? No, you pronounce it as anime. The word gave also ends with an E, but we don't pronounce it Gavi. See, some letters in some words do sound differently, and some letters are silent. So, yeah, I just had to get that out of the way and off my chest real quick. Anyway, resume. None of these have any different um, levels of intoxication. So you just feel free to order anything you like. But Yay! I'm going to be going after all four throughout the course of our game. I'll try sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mmm, okay. Here you go. So how's work? Doing well? Hey, come on. I came here to forget about that shit. Okay, let's talk about that curse. Never mind. If you're done bringing us drinks, then scram. <sighs> you're so cold. Fuck you, Orlando. Yeah, you can really tell, but I'm not a fan of Orlando's character. <sighs> Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. Whew. Can I really make Catherine happy? I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake, now that you've emptied your sake cup. Refined sake is made by filtering the gori sake, but did you know that another strange ingredient is added at this time? Ash is added. It's said that a sake maker in the Edo period put ash into the sake to take out his anger. This is the unexpected success story behind this delicacy. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want a drink? Oh, we'll stop here. No, I'm cool. After getting that trip, we're gonna end things off here. Since we've taken on many more thoughts, We'll be uh, exploring the um, street heap as well as talking to the agents here. See you guys then.